Greetings, this is Daniel from Placemaker, and I'm introducing Placemaker version 3. And one of the changes we've implemented with this new version is our credit system. We had a credit system for importing in aerials in our prior versions. Now we're using a credit system for all of our data, which gives us a lot of advantages. The first of which is we now have two versions of Placemaker. You can pay as you go or a subscription version and I will talk about both of those in a second. I want to show you our new UX and UI. So regardless of whether you get the subscription version or the pay-as-you-go version, you'll need to buy credits through the SketchUp extension installed in SketchUp. And once you have the Placemaker dialog window open, you could see right here, you click on Buy Credits. It will open up a website and you'll have to log into your account there and you'll get that information when you download and install Placemaker and you can quickly purchase credits and these prices are subject to change just so you know but we are offering those credits to, uh, to everybody and I'm going to talk about those big changes uh, next. I'm on the Placemaker website on the credit page where you can find the information I'm going to describe. I'm going to scroll down we have two ways for people to access Placemaker. It can be through the pay-as-you-go or a subscription method. So pay-as-you-go is new. Basically all the data sets that we now offer in Placemaker you can access by just buying some credits on the fly and downloading them and they cost credits to import. You don't need a subscription. And you saw some of the credit costs before that. So the advantage of pay-as-you-go is you just sign up on our website download Placemaker and install it. You open up SketchUp and open up the Placemaker dialog and you go to the Buy Credits button and it takes you to the website and you can buy credits. All the, all the different data sets that are on there, whether it's terrain or buildings or roads or smart site, whatever it might be, everything costs credits with the pay-as-you-go version. You can refill the credits as you need. The license does not expire. The credit cost, the costs for data the amount of credits it might take for to download for some of the data might change, just so you know. We still offer our subscription version. That comes with a thousand credits and data like the OpenStreetMap data, which is buildings and roads and water and paths and trees, they don't cost any credits. And the other data like the Microsoft buildings, the terrain, um, the smart site or the 3D mesh that we now have and all the aerials, they're significantly discounted as compared to the pay-as-you-go. You can refill credits as much as you need and you can also renew the license or the subscription to keep enjoying the credit discounts. If the subscription does expire, it just reverts to pay-as-you-go. So we have these options now for people to access Placemaker in different ways. And also this allows us to add new data sets in the future that we can charge credit for. It makes it much more flexible for us as a provider to meet people's needs. I'm back on the Placemaker credit page and I just scroll down a little bit. And I'm gonna demonstrate the difference between the pay-as-you-go and the subscription credit costs for the different data sets and how they can vary. All the examples you're gonna see are quarter mile by quarter mile examples with different data sets imported into them. The top one is Bryant Park. There I imported OpenStreetMap buildings, a map box aerial, um, OpenStreetMap trees, roads, paths, and we also have trains in the new version of Placemaker version 3. This cost me 76 credits using pay-as-you-go versus if I had a subscription it would cost 9 credits. The one below that is the Dallas suburb. Less buildings, uh, mostly roads, so that was OpenStreetMap buildings and Microsoft buildings, a high resolution map box aerial, roads and paths, and you can see it costs 23 credits as pay as you go and 15 credits with the subscription version. Let's scroll down to more examples here. So here's Estes Park, Colorado. This one includes terrain, map box aerial, roads, paths, buildings. Pay as you go was 30 credits and the subscription was 13 credits. Fort Myers, Florida, um, again, pay as you go and subscription 41 credits versus 19 credit. More examples here. 
the San Antonio Riverwalk. Open street map buildings, map box, aerials, roads, paths, water. Cost 32 credits using pay as you go and 11 credits with the subscription. Ad infinitum with San Diego suburb. Again, this one has terrain and a lot more buildings, more roads, and it costs 100 credits for this quarter mile versus 49 credits. And this subscription typically will range, if you have a subscription, the savings per area will probably range in anywhere from 50% um, or greater in terms of savings of credits, depending on what you're importing. I think these are the last two examples of a Seattle suburb, again on terrain, cost 88 credits with the subscription 29. And then Windsor, Colorado, 46 credits versus 22. And I think the water here, again, skewed the credits. So that's how the credit system works and what the benefits are. You can do pay as you go. You can do a subscription. We like the fact that there's all these options here. And it's a very simple system to use once you have the credits in place. You just import which one you want. Click on import the data. You'll see credits required. And it'll also show you credits required if you're a subscriber. So we're actually going to show you the differences in the app itself about what you might save versus with the subscription versus pay as you go. But again, with the pay as you go system, that'll make it a lot more accessible for a lot of people. So give it a shot. Go to placemake, uh, suplacemaker.com and download it and get started.